Are you trying to set up wholesale on your Shopify Plus account, but not sure how? Well, my name is John Solarzano, and today I'll be walking you through how to make a B2B slash wholesale channel in your Shopify Plus store. Let's dive right in. So today I'm going to walk you through three points. First point is how to create a wholesale B2B company with net payment terms. Two is how to create a price list. And there's a couple of things within how to make a price list. And three, checking out as a wholesale customer using your net payment terms and your price list. So so first, let's go ahead and make a B2B wholesale company. What we're going to do is log into your Shopify Plus backend, go over to customers, and you're going to see companies right under. And what you're going to want to do is press add company. And here's where we're going to add our first wholesale company. Here, we'll add a contact that we already have, but in your case, you might want to create a new one depending on if this is a brand new store or one that's already in use. This is the shipping address. Now, this is important because companies can have multiple shipping addresses. This is just going to be the headquarters. All right, so as you scroll down, we got the main points in, and now we're going to select our net payment terms. Now, if you want to be able to see the orders before they come in so you can approve them, you might want to check off this box that says, submit all orders as drafts for review. You. For this example, we're going to just set up net payment terms 30, which simply means that when I check out, I don't have to pay for 30 days. We're going to save that company and you're going to see here the company SMG Shopify developers net 30 terms. Now, because we don't have a price list, we have to set up the price list and add it here. Here is the location. And if you wanted to add more contacts or locations, you can just by simply pressing these add customer or clicking here and adding different locations. This is very important because the customer themselves will not be able to add locations you as the admin have to approve those locations and add it for them now that we are done making a b2b slash wholesale company we're going to make a price list so to make a price list we're going to hover over to products click on price list and create a price list now you can name this whatever you want for this example i'll name it premier price customers and here you can pretty much do a price increase or a price decrease. For this example, I'm gonna choose an exaggerated amount of 95%. So that way we can see the difference when checking out. And just the sidebar, you can actually, if you don't wanna have a global sort of discount throughout the site for this customer, you can go ahead into adjust prices and set these prices manually. Here you'll see each of the products with their pricing. It's actually set at the 95% discount. And if you wanted to make a different price, you can go in here and edit it. There's also a way to import and export it, but that might be for another video. And here we want to add the company we just built and you'll see saved. Let's make sure we activate this to active and we're all set. Now let's make sure that this is set up on the company side. I want to make sure that the price list is set up. You see here we have the premier price customers list set at net 30. So we're all set to go. Now, something to note is that the B2B login is going to be completely different than the normal user login. So what does that mean? Here we have a normal login that any customer that's not a wholesale customer can log in and use. This is a regular Shopify functionality, and this is not where your customer is going to log in. You're going to have to create a separate entryway for your wholesale customer. Now, we don't have it now on this site, but what we want to show is how that looks. If you go over to your settings, hover over to checkout and accounts, you'll see that there are the two account logins. Here is the classic customer account. You'll see here it says does not support B2B customers. And here is the new customer account. So what we want to do is we're going to want to log into this new customer account. Now this user interface is not editable yet by Shopify. So this is exactly what your wholesale customer is going to see when they try to log in. They'll be putting in their email address here. And what's going to happen is they will get a six digit code sent to them. Let's go ahead and get that six digit code. So now we can log in. It's uh, accepted us. We can go inside. What we're seeing here is what it would look like if I was a wholesale customer ready to order from your wholesale store. I don't have any orders yet, so you won't see anything here yet, but we'll go ahead and make a quick purchase. Let's go ahead and purchase this Corvette replacement sun visor. We'll go ahead and add this to cart. We'll check out. And what you're going to see very quickly is that because this account is already set up, it has the ship to, it has the net payment terms. And what you'll notice is that this is all native to Shopify's checkout. Let's take a quick look. So the net 30 terms, my payment will be due to December 26th. You'll see here that you can't change your ship to because as I mentioned before, it is predetermined by the admin. And we're gonna go ahead and submit this order just so that you can see what that looks like. And there you go. Here's the order that is due on December 26th. 
Now I'm gonna show you what that email looks like on the customer side, the wholesale customer. And then I wanna show you what that order looks like as you, the store owner. Now let's go ahead and check out this email real quick. So here's what the order looks like. You're going to see that it has when the total is due and all the other information, just like a regular Shopify order. Now I wanna go back in here and show you what that looks like on the account side. If I wanted to check my order as a wholesale customer, here we got the order confirmed, show details. And if that customer wanted to pay at any moment, they can, here's the pay now button. And this will open up the credit card information, just like you might be used to on a regular Shopify order. All right, now that we have the idea of what that looks like as the customer, let's go ahead and look at this as the admin or store owner. Let's go over to the back end, check out the orders. And here you're going to see the payment pending, unfulfilled, and my order as SMG Shopify developers. You can go ahead and fulfill this item if you want, create the shipping label, etc. If at any moment you need to resend the invoice, you can. And if you wanted to collect payment anytime you can. Now, what happens is there is a reminder that is sent out on December 27th. And if it is not, you will see that this payment is overdue. So yeah, that's what it looks like when you check out as a wholesale company. And that's what it looks like on the admin side when a wholesale company checks out using net payment terms. Now, just a quick recap of what we went over. We created a company that can make wholesale orders. We set up a custom price list that sets up custom prices for that user as they browse the site. And then we were able to check out with them using net 30 terms so that they can pay 30 days after their order. This was all built in natively into Shopify. Hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you found this useful, please comment below, subscribe, and see you later.